Hello. Who are you? Doesn't matter. Welcome. You're safe with me. I'll be right here. Nice and close so I can speak without alerting the others. Let me tell you about Senua. Her story has already come to an end, but now it begins anew. What's happening? It's breathing. Dead. It's breathing. It's breathing. He knows. He knows she's getting closer. He can feel her coming closer. She's getting closer. This is a journey deep into darkness. There'll be no more stories after this one. What is she doing? Why is she doing this? They're watching. Why isn't she doing coming? Back? She's doing this for him. She wants to rescue him. He's already dead. I can feel you coming. Shh. coming. Quiet. Oh, how rude of me. I never told you of the others. You hear them too, right? They've been around ever since the tragedy. Well, that's not quite true. Some are old, some are new, but they've changed. I think the darkness changed them just like it changed her. Can you see them over there? Why isn't she looking? <laughs> Why aren't you looking? She's an ally. Look, up ahead. You see it too. You promised you came. Yes, it is real after all. She's finally arrived in the land of mist and fog, the place the Northmen call hell. What is she thinking? I can tell you. She's afraid. Wouldn't you be? You'd think she would get used to it by now after so many years. But the darkness... It just builds onto itself, growing stronger, towering over her. You might try and ignore it, Turn away. But it's always there, just out of sight, where you're most vulnerable. It's like it knows that just enough light is all you need to see its suffocating power. You might think she's brave to go on this journey on her own, but it isn't bravery that drives her. 
bravery only means something to those afraid of death. Said it was fear runs far. There's no going back. You can't do it. Senua pushes away a world that conspired to cause so much suffering. There's nothing to go back to, and worse to look forward to. Why don't you join us? Maybe you too have a part to play in this story. Use your eyes. Use your eyes. Yes. Come on, closer. She can't focus. Why can't she look focus? focus? Take a closer look, Zimmer. knives across which lies the halls of hell, the place they call Hellheim. in Helheim, and the goddess Hela holds his soul there. Her dear beloved, Dillian. What is she doing? Why is she doing this? Why doesn't she turn back? 
She's doing this for him. She wants to rescue him. He's already dead. He's dead. But his soul is in her mind. His soul still lives. She needs to save his soul. She wants his soul to be a The bridge to Helheim. I forget its name. She forgets too. But she does remember that only the dead may cross it. That part wasn't so easy to forget. The old fool said there was a hidden path up to it. Let's see, shall we? Kill me. I'm not one of them. Don't listen. I was just hiding. I find I live longer that way. Don't listen. I never let the bastards catch me again. Never! Wait. Who are you? It's just a memory. Drew? of the Northmen. They call me Druth. A liar. He's a liar. An old fool. <laughs> Druth is my truth. Huh? It's good to see you again. You kept your vow. guide you in this life and the next. I will tell you my stories of hell. If I may walk with you. Tell me your stories again, old friend. I'm listening. The runes seal the gates to hell. Focus your inner eye. And you too will see what's hidden in plain sight. You have to take a closer look to see. Why isn't she focusing? She needs to focus now. She needs to use her eyes. I can see one. Hold it in your mind's eye. Find one like it to open the gate. Go through the gate. Go through it. It's dangerous. Follow it. What's behind the gate? It worked. I spent six. 
six years and slaved in hell. But I watched the Northmen. Learned their ways. I know you did. You listen? When everyone else laughed. My people paid a heavy price. Carry my stories with you. And together we will make the Northmen feel our fury. is ruled by the giantess, Hela, daughter of Loki. The gods feared her bloodline, bad on her mother's side and yet much worse on her father's. So, as a child, the Allfather cast her down into Helheim and gave her power over those who die of sickness, age, hardship and self-slaughter. In all of the nine worlds, only Hela can resurrect the dead. To Hela, your Dillion was sacrificed, and with her you must bargain. from the dead. Is that the face of Hela herself? The half-rotten goddess that rules over Helheim. Whatever horrors lie behind that door, she must find him. Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! 
nearly over. Finish. spread towards her head, the seed of the soul, until there is nothing left of her. <laughs> All of her suffering will have been for nothing. It's just a matter of time. battles are fought in the mind. That is what Dillian taught her. With every defeat, the dark rot will grow and soon it will take her soul. But for now, at least, she still has control of her mind. And she will fulfill her vow. Whatever the cost. He's not right. Listen to me, Senua. The goddess Hela lies behind the gate to Helheim. To open the gate, you must first face the gods that guard it. The god of fire. Surt, and the god of illusion, Valraven, spill their blood to open the gate to Helheim and enter the land of the dead. To Dillian, to his soul. It won't open. How will she get through? Why won't it open? Why can't she open? She needs to challenge the god. She has to fight two gods first. Two gods? Two, two gates. gates. Which will she choose first? One of them will kill her, I know it. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> She's going to die. <laughs> sort the fire giant has answered. She was a gate somewhere. He comes from a land older than mankind. And the Northmen call upon his flaming sword to raise their enemies to the ground. Find him, Senua. And spill his blood. She found the wretched old fool on her way back from the wilds. An outcast. He was badly burnt all over. She took pity on him, for he was not long for this world. Like her, who he spoke of his own darkness. The Northmen. The Northmen tell this story. Before the Earth was created, there was a world called Muspel. Because it was in the south, it was bright and hot, flaming, burning. Sparks that flew out from Muspel became the stars. Other sparks melted ice in the frozen world of Niflheim, creating the body of the first giant, Ymir. Muspel is one of the nine worlds and is now the land of the fire giants. And people from elsewhere cannot endure a journey there. human flesh <laughs> and I still hear their cries carried in the wind you hear them too Senos? yes I heard their screams and I still hear them now
of their tongue to beg for mercy, and they took me as a slave. I wish now that they had slaughtered me like the others. I rode their storm of fire, death, slavery to many lands. This darkness you speak of? <laughs> I know it well. And I'm still here to fight it.
you mustn't look away from the horrors it does offer. Because you cannot overcome suffering if you refuse to look at it. She get through. She'll need to find another way. Truth and set. The Northmen say that the defender of Muspel is called Surt, the foremost of the fire giants. His name means the Black One, because he is like something burnt. The Northmen believe that he sits at the border of Muspel with his flaming sword, and at the end of the world he will leave his post. He will travel to Asgard and Midgard, waging war against all the gods, he will be victorious, and then burn the whole world with fire. It's too far. She'll never find it. She'll never make her way back. She needs to remember the way back. What happens when she finds it? Remember. Everything will burn. Concentrate, concentrate on where you're going. She needs to remember the path. Everything will burn, then how will she find the way back? <laughs> she won't. She won't be able to tell. The Northmen made fire sacrifices, burning slaves like me to reveal the path to Surt. I searched for meaning in their suffering, in their eyes. But they just screamed like helpless pigs. Answer your prayers, Senua. I asked the gods for mercy, all of them, even theirs. None answered. In the end, I set myself free. Defy the gods, Senua! Find your own path, like I find mine! My gods abandoned me! I am alone.
The Northmen say that at Ragnarok, the sons of Muspel will travel to battle in the ship called Nagalfar, the corpse ship. And when the sons of Muspel leave the ship and ride to battle, it will be as though the sky had split open, and Surt will lead them. Wherever he goes, flame will erupt before him, and fires will burn behind him. insatiable gods of darkness. I come from Eren, Senua, where I once followed my own gods, the Tuatha de Danann. Why did you abandon your gods? Senua, I was a man of knowledge, not a warrior. To survive, I did things. Bad things. Like you, Senua. The man I once was has died. And when that happens, even gods you worship can die with you.
slow. Take him down. Tell me truth. How did you escape your darkness? Senua, once I found my purpose, I was no longer enslaved to the suffering I had to endure to reach it. Unclouded by fear, I could see it clearly in others. Even my captors feared the fire of certain. And so, during one raid, chance and ran, knowing that they would not follow. The fool ran into the fire. <laughs> they left me for dead. Maybe they were right. But here I am. Free. I'm glad I found you in the wilds. I wouldn't have made it without you.
so can you. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. This darkness takes everything. Everyone. Senua. Are you sure you want to do this? We can fight this together. Side by side. We always do. This is my battle. I have to face it alone, away from you. Where will you go? I don't know. For how long? I don't know. I believe in you. You know that. Just promise me that you will come back to me. I want you to say it. I want you to say it. I will come back to you. I promise. Focus now! She's injured! Oh. 
He's getting stronger! Quickly! We must stop him! You must stop him! Stop him! Stop him! Stop him! Stop him! Stop him! Your truth. 